In this lesson, we're going to learn how to produce and consume messages with Kafka. We'll also learn about how to quickly tune a Kafka job when a topic has multiple partitions. Let's get started. We're going to create a new pipeline that saves the Zomato file data to Kafka instead of into a database. Let's get started by duplicating an existing pipeline where Zomato data is already configured from an origin. Let's now go into the pipeline and remove all of the stages that are not required and we'll add the Kafka destination stage. Now we need to configure the Kafka destination to write to a Zomato reviews topic. To do this, we need to first connect to Kafka. Let's go ahead and create a reusable Kafka connection. Create a new connection. Let's give it a name, choose an available authoring data collector, and choose the Kafka type. In the configuration section, we just need to change the host name from localhost to Kafka. Test the connection and save if successful. Go back to the Kafka pipeline and use the new connection. Let's also configure the topic name to Zomato Reviews. Let's validate, review, and do a test run and make sure all the data flow looks good. Our Zomato to Kafka pipeline is ready. Next, we're going to create a new pipeline that reads from the Zomato Reviews topic and stores it into a database. We now want to create a pipeline that reads from the Kafka topic instead of the Zomato file data. Let's go ahead and duplicate the JDBC pipeline as it already has the pipeline logic. The change we will make is swap out the file origin with a Kafka origin that reads from the Zomato reviews topic. In this new pipeline, we'll select the Kafka multi-topic consumer as the origin. For the data format that this origin needs to be the same as the pipeline that produces messages to Kafka. We can check this by simply going back to that first Kafka pipeline and use the same format. Let's validate, review, and test. And once testing is completed, let's go ahead and create a job. Run the job and view the statistics. You should now see data coming from Kafka. In another common use case, Kafka topics are oftentimes partitioned. It's possible to both apply a partitioning strategy when using the Kafka producer and consuming from multiple topic partitions in parallel. Kafka is able to provide parallel partition reads with the use of a consumer group property. This property can be set in the Kafka multi-topic consumer origin. Let's set up our pipelines, topics, and database to demonstrate this. We need to slow the data flow down to see the pipelines continuously processing data. Next, we'll also delete the Zomato Reviews Kafka topic, and we'll recreate it with multiple partitions, 20 in our case. First, let's adjust the rate limit, or the records per second, and the batch size. We'll adjust the rate limit to 25 or 50 records per second and the batch size to 100. You can adjust these properties to your liking. In our case, these adjustments are purely for training purposes.
In the Kafka Producer Advanced Configuration, here we can set different partition strategies. The default setting is round robin. Other options are random, an expression that calculates partition number, or default, which sets the partition for a message based on the hash of a key that needs to be configured here. Let's also clear out the reviews table from the Zomato database. Now let's configure our Zomato cockpit to JDBC job. The most important setting here is the advanced option, number of instances. We'll set this to four or however many data collectors that are set up in your environment. The number of instances needs to be less than or equal to the number of data collectors that match the engine labels. In our environment, we have four data collectors, so we'll set the number of instances to four. Let's go ahead and start this job. Notice that there are four data collector engines that have an instance of the pipeline running. Next, let's start the Zomato to Kafka pipeline to produce the messages. This pipeline, we can simply start as a test. Going back to the multi-instance Zomato Kafet to JDBC job, notice that each of the engines is processing records. That's because each instance is a parallel topic consumer. Kafet is able to understand that these consumers are meant to read from different partitions because of the consumer group property, which is set in the Kafka multi-topic consumer connection. In this lesson, we produced and consumed Kafka messages. We also learned how to read from a partition topic in parallel by using consumer groups and multi-instance jobs. Now it's your turn to try!